Hello friends, in the present video we will understand the concept of profitability index. It is the extension of net present value method. Uh, net present value method related video already I have uh, posted on YouTube. So the link related to that video will be shared in i button as well as in the description box. Please watch the video before uh, watching this video so that you can have a clarity of understanding. Right? So we will understand profitability index in this video. Uh, what do you mean by profitability index? Profitability index is quite easy concept. It is as I told you extension of NPV method. So this method is also known as or refers to as alternative. Alternatively, value investment ratio method or profit investment ratio method even. But uh, more uh, famous with profitability index method that is PA method. What it says? It describes an index that represents the relationship between the cost and benefit of a proposed project. So what it shows? It shows the relationship exists between the cost and benefit. What is the present value of cash inflows that we are generating and how much we are investing? So relation between these two variables will be shown by the profitability index. And this will be calculated with the formula PA is equals to present value of cash inflows divided by investment or original cost. Either way you can call. Right? So very easy. Profitability index is equals to present value of cash inflows divided by investment or original cost. So we will take up accept and reject rule criteria. How to decide the two methods. One is independent project. Another one is mutually exclusive project. In case of independent more than one. In the sense our inflows would be what we call more than our outflows and if it is two projects higher pi whichever project gives us more pi profitability index will be accepted right so we'll take up we will read the question the following are the cash inflows and outflows of a uh, certain project year outflow and inflow for zero year in the sense now we are investing 175000 and First year also the investment is there. That is 50,000 outflow. And inflow starts from first year 35,000, 45,000, 65,000, 85,000 and 50,000. The salvage value of the project at the end of uh, fifth year is 50,000. So salvage value is 50,000. That will be recovered at the end of fifth year itself. Along with our inflow. Taking cutoff rate at the rate of 10%. Calculate present value, net present value and profitability index. Both we are asked to calculate. So present value factor at the rate of 10% given in the question that is 0 0.909826751683621. This uh, you can calculate by formula. The video pertaining to this will be shared in i button as well as in the description box. But it will also be available in the present value tables which will be available in the end of the textbooks generally. So we'll uh, proceed with the solution, right? So same question I have taken. The most important is we have investment in the first year itself as well as we have scrap value. These two concepts are there. How to deal with it? While well, calculation of NPV. First, we'll take up the NPV at the rate of 10%. So year cash inflows present value factor at the rate of 10% then present value of cash inflows year 1 to 5 we have taken and 5 I have taken twice because scrap value even we are getting in the 5th year that is the reason of 5 I have taken twice then cash inflows 35, 45, 65, 85, 50 and 5th year 50 scrap even we are getting right so that is the reason of 5th year scrap as well as that particular year's cash inflow both I have taken. Present value factors, whatever given in the question that I have taken, but in the fifth year, twice, 0 0.621, 0 0.621, twice I have taken because that is only the fifth year, what we call discounting factor. So, present value of cash inflows. When you multiply with the present value cash inflows with the present value factor, you will get present value of cash inflows. Then, as we have already discussed, that is uh, in the NPV video. So that is the reason why I am going a little bit fast. So cash inflow is first year cash inflow 35,000 into 0 0.909, 45,000 into 0 0.826. You will get the respective values. Then make the summation. Then whatever summation you got, this is called as present value of cash inflows. So minus what we have invested, that is investment is 
very important be careful with regards to investment here zero it year we have investment investment is 175000 but after first year also we have invested 50000 so directly we cannot take 50000 because we need to multiply with the time value factor of first year at the rate of 10% that's the reason why i am doing here 50000 into 0 0.909 then i am getting 45450 as our investment in the first year that we are taking present value today's value right so when you deduct these two values the resultant figure is 17505 this is our net present value called as npv once you calculate this npv rest next is uh, we are asked to calculate profitability index how to calculate profitability index profitability index formula is present value of cash inflows divided by investment so present value of cash inflows already we calculated that is 2,37,955 whereas investment investment is equals to both values i have calculated that is today's investment as well as after first year that is 1,75 plus 45,450 which we have calculated already so 2,20,000 so divided by 2,20,450 is equals to 1.078 this is our PA. So project individually is there. So we can accept the project as it is giving more than one PA. Right? NPV is also positive. We can accept the project in both the ways. We can accept the project. Right? So this is the way we need to calculate. If it is uh, mutually exclusive, we need to compare with the other project values. Whichever project gives us highest values or higher values, that will be accepted. So, this is the basic and simplest way of calculation of PA. I hope I made you understand. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and motivate me by subscribing and giving your likes as well as sharing my videos to other uh, students. And actually, the basic idea and objective of this video is to serve the student community and provide the quality content or regarding the subject of accounting and finance is concerned right so please uh, do motivate me and your support and guidance is highly appreciated your support in the form of subscriptions in the form of sharing in the form of liking the videos thank you very much